Well, he's the surgeon behind Canada's first ever face transplant. Dr. Daniel Borsak spent six years planning the historic procedure and 30 hours operating on the patient. And he joins us now from Montreal this morning. Doctor, thank you so much. Congratulations on this success. I got to tell you, when I saw the pictures and read the story, I got chills. I'm so glad we're able to talk about this today. What made you so determined to bring face transplantation to Canada? Well, you know what? I think that a lot of the time we feel as Canadians that maybe there's some a better option outside the country. And it's nice to offer gold standard treatment to all of our, you know, our entire population. We have fantastic surgeons, great medical a health system, and it's nice that we're able now to finally offer this type of procedure to anyone. The, 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 these pictures are, uh, I, I almost don't believe my eyes when I, when I see what I'm looking at. Talk to me about what you achieved for this man. Well, listen, this guy didn't have a nose or lips. He didn't have an upper jaw, a lower jaw, couldn't speak, couldn't swallow, couldn't breathe properly. He was breathing through a tracheostomy. So what we gave him, we wanted him to look normal, be able to walk around in public without anyone looking at him, and to, for his wife to be able to sleep next to him without those awful sounds coming from his tracheostomy, to have a nose, lips, teeth, speak, eat, basically everything that you and I take for granted, that's what we wanted to give him. Now, I, I'm, I've only seen uh, uh, pictures, still pictures, but does he have the use of his lips the way that, say, I would right now? He doesn't right now. It's only been four months. He's starting to smile. He's starting to speak and drink better. But it'll be another probably six months until he'll be smiling. And already we're seeing, we're seeing it begin, but it'll take at least another six months or so. It's incredible. I mean, uh, the, uh, we, we throw around the word heroes quite a bit. You guys are our heroes here. But I know that you call the donor family the real heroes of this story. Tell me why. Well, could you imagine on the worst day of your life when you lose a loved one and then you're approached for organ donation and this family gives all their organs of their loved one and including the face. It's the most, it's the most harrowing day of their life and they're going ahead and they're doing something that is probably the most generous gift you can give to another person. It's, it's actually unbelievable. So they're the, the true heroes. Now you've also said that uh, it was as important to prepare this patient psychologically as physically for the, uh, the surgery. What did you mean by that? Well, you know what? It's not just transplanting an organ. You're transplanting a lot more. We communicate through our faces. And so when you're transplanting this, you want to make sure that the recipient is able to deal with what's going to happen having this new face. So he was followed by a psychiatrist for over two years. It's an incredible story. And if this is the beginning of the science, uh, I have no idea where you and your team and, and other teams around the world are going to take it. But it is very, very exciting. The possibilities are open for the world. Thank you so much for being here. Congratulations Thanks, on this man. huge success. Thanks, man.